Hey there, internet. This is the NR505150 ATC EM25N-5000. After I bought the thing, I wanted to just make sure it wasn't junk. What I thought to do today is uh, I'll just uh, I'll show you a couple different spindles that I have, and I, just to show you the difference between a really well-made, uh, super high-end spindle and uh, the, the the kind of spindle that you get with your milling machine. And then the kind of spindle that you get with uh, 100 bucks on eBay, which is pretty much garbage. This is the new spindle. There's really no visible indication of movement, which is pretty darn impressive. With this, highly sensitive. this is my grinder spindle, and this is from a old X1 mill, a Sieg mill. And this is a uh, Morse Taper 2. So this has a, a couple thousandths of a millimeter. Uh, it's pretty good, actually. Keyless chuck in my mill. To give you how I, I, an idea of how bad that of a, that is, to give you an idea how bad an idea that is. That, that, that sentence doesn't really flow, does it? Here's how bad this is, but to be expected. Here's a half inch solid carbide end mill in an R8 chuck. I think I just got lucky with this. Drill press. Cordless drill. This thing here is the thing that you should never buy. It's really just a motor, and they they happen to put an ER16 on the end of it. There, there's no there's no bearings in there that are appropriate for machining. Uh, no, under any circumstances, don't buy any of these. All, all the tests that I gave you were static run out. It's even worse when you're actually cutting stuff, right? But look how bad this is. So, if you can buy an NSK spindle on eBay for a couple hundred bucks, this thing, I think this was like 200 bucks with the driver. It's just, it's, it's, it's maybe good as a, as a, you know, a motor, a brushless motor. It's not good at anything else. It's not good for milling. So don't buy one of these. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my uh, little show and tell of spindle run out. Have a nice day. Bye.